I remember when Ethereum was like $400. It's one of the biggest regrets I have in my life. Not buying Ethereum when it was at $400. But hey, now Ethereum is kind of behaving differently than Bitcoin. I'm on the weekly chart. I was on the weekly chart with Bitcoin as well. I need that macro view. So the reason why Ethereum and Bitcoin are behaving differently is because they're completely different applications. Ethereum is more like the early adaptations of the internet. It's a decentralized version of the internet. Whereas Bitcoin is a preserver of wealth, commonly known as digital gold. Um, and it's also, it, the fun it has a different function. It, you know, it's, it's a money sending app. It's a decentralized money sending application or known as dApps, right? So that's why Ethereum and Bitcoin are behaving differently because Ethereum's value is, is, is not to be compared with Bitcoin, right? But trading both of these coins, of course, Ethereum kind of follows Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes down, Ethereum goes down as well. However, if we are to look, so we from from one from November we've had about 30% of a low. If you go to Bitcoin, it should be more than 30%. Yeah, 37, 38. So actually Bitcoin has had a significant crash or a downfall than Ethereum because of those reasons. Because Ethereum is completely different. And with NFTs coming in. Ethereum, Solana, these kind of networks, their value is just immense. It's going to be big. But here's what I think. So I'm going to draw a line over here. This is a trend line. Now, you know, when you draw a trend line, if, wait, can you get, see it? I'll zoom in. Okay. So when you draw a trend line, if three troughs, these are called troughs. If you have three troughs, so you got one, two and three that kind of means that we are following a trend let me get my tools out here oops spotlight tool okay so you got one two and three so that's a basic requirement of a trend line you need to have three troughs touching this line for it to be qualified as a trend line okay that's a trend now we got have that ethereum is kind of going in that direction so if i'm right if i'm correct if this pattern is to continue this is a highly likely scenario okay but that's always that but because bitcoin is going down there's a higher chance that Ethereum might come down as well. But what is the psychological level that Ethereum might come down to? My psychological level is somewhere between $1,400, the previous high, and $2,000. That's 53%. 53%. So it's highly unlikely if something crazy happens, but we are in crypto and probability of crazy is also high. If you don't have Bit Ethereum, make sure you put a buy order in that $2,000 range. Buy at least one Ethereum. I'm telling you, it's gonna be totally worth it. If you have Ethereum, do not ever sell it. That's the other thing. Never sell your Ethereum. Ethereum, Ether. If you are leveraging Ethereum, that's what I'm worried about because most of the people that I talk to, they are highly leveraged and it's really dangerous. You do not want to do that. So if you are leveraging, get out of your leverage with whatever profit that you can get because if they increase interest rates, I do not like where this is heading. I just don't know like I've never been part of a bull market before uh, because I got into investing later 
but all the people that I talked to who went through that 2018 crash and the dot-com bubble they're sending all sorts of signal and all of them majority of them are saying it's gonna get worse so be very careful with that leveraging is it's not for faint-hearted <laughs> so look even at three thousand dollars i think ethereum is a bargain okay so if you have some money make sure you buy some ethereum and hold it it doesn't matter if it crashes hold it because ethereum like i told you its long-term potential is extremely high and that it has a chance of surpassing bitcoin so keep that in mind that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something do not panic all right when you're buying or selling do not panic these things happen hodl all the way through all right i hope you learned something i hope i was helpful if you have any questions please put a comment below i'm more than happy to answer you in any capacity that i know i'll see you guys in another video until then happy trading